Good evening. How's everybody? Good. All right. Welcome to the city of West Miami. Uh, today is Wednesday, July the 16th, 2014, um, at 7.40. For the invocation, Ms. Aguilar. Thank you. Please rise. Let's bow our head this evening, and um, Lord, we start this evening by thanking you for our daily blessings. We thank you for being our source of guidance. We pray for those that are ill, frail, and for those who struggle physically and emotionally. We pray for our elected leaders so that they can lead with vision and fairness in a harmonious working environment. We pray for all the employees who labor each day and for our city residents. We ask that you keep our military servicemen and women, our law enforcement personnel and firefighters safe so that they can return home to their families. We pray for world peace and we ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Chief for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Roll call. <coughs> Mayor Eduardo Mujina. Present. Vice Mayor Juan Blanes. Commissioner Candida Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Rhonda Rodriguez. Present. Commissioner Luciano Suarez. He, he'll be uh, a little bit late this evening. Uh, Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you. Uh, can we go right into item four, please? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Item four, uh, the presentation of minutes for approval for June 18, 2014 regular city commission meeting, July uh, 1st, ethics training seminar. July 2nd, 2014, Charter Review Board meeting. July 2nd, 2014, Regular City Commission meeting. And July 9, 9, 2014, Charter Review Board. Following the City Attorney's recommendation, I've, uh, I've uh, um, separated the different meetings since members, no, not, uh, not all members were uh, present at the meeting. So on the June 18, 2014, Regular City Commission meeting, all were present, so all can vote. Okay. Any comments on the June 18? 18. Regular Commission meeting minutes. Mr. Mayor, I re reviewed them and they are they are fine. Okay. A motion to um, second. second. Okay, I have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passes. On July first, uh, two thousand and fourteen, ethics training seminar, uh, Commissioner Blanca and Commissioner Suarez uh, non were not they were not required to attend. So it's the mayor, Commissioner Rodriguez, and Vice Mayor Blanes. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 July 2nd Charter Review Board meeting and July 2nd Regular City Commission meeting. Commissioner Blanca abstains. Motion to approve. Mo uh, motion is second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 July 9th Charter Review Board meeting. Mayor Mujina abstains. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, can we uh, skip uh, items five, six, seven, and eight? Uh, actually, no, five, six, and seven at this time, and go right into item number eight. Committee report, <coughs> report of mayor, item eight. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, I want to welcome uh, Veronica Diaz uh, uh, this evening. Uh, she's running for judge in uh, Miami-Dade Circuit Court. Uh, Veronica, can you come up to the podium and uh, introduce yourself? Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council, City Manager, Mr. City Attorney, Ms. Madam City Clerk. Thank you so much for the opportunity to have um, to appear before you today and introduce myself. My name is Veronica Diaz. I am running for Miami-Dade Circuit Court Judge. Our elections are August 26. There's people in our community that unfortunately don't know that elections are in August and in November. Everyone simply assumes they're in November. Well, in August, as part of the primary is when you elect your circuit court judges. And so people think, well, I'm not an attorney, so judges really don't affect me. Judges make decisions that affect all of our lives every day. The 
Gardner, who's been unpaid for three months for his company, he's got to go into a courtroom and say to the judge, judge, help me. I need you to do something so that I can get paid. The teacher who has a dispute with her husband or her ex-husband over child support, who says, I need to be paid child support so that I can feed my children, she needs to go in front of a court and ask a judge, please help me. These are things that happen in our everyday lives. And the, unless you have judges in place that are humble, that are humane, that understand what our lives are like, they're going to make decisions. They're going to make the wrong decisions. They're not going to favor the people. My courtroom will be the courtroom of the people. I'll tell you a little bit about my, my background. I'm not sure how much time I have. Um, but uh, I came to this country when I was eight years old. And my inspiration for being a lawyer and being a judge was my mother. My mom was an attorney. And she gave up her career to raise my two brothers and I. And my mom, I remember one of my youngest memories was sitting in court watching my mom do her job. And I thought, man, what a cool person. What little girl doesn't aspire to be just like her mom? So I came to this country. I studied in public schools. I read books in public libraries. And I got to where I am today. Where I am today is a person that can stand in front of you and say, I am the most qualified candidate to be your next circuit court judge. I understand the difficulties that our community has gone through. I understand what it's like to be an immigrant, to come from nothing and be someone. I understand that hard work and the support of the community is what gets you here. So I ask you, August 26, to please vote Veronica Diaz, number 52. Buenas noches, un placer estar aquí con ustedes. Simplemente les quiero decir un poco sobre mi historia. Cuando llegué a este país de ocho años, como muchos de ustedes, yo no hablaba inglés en eh, mi familia y yo vivíamos en un apartamento, en un cuarto, los cinco, y fue por el esfuerzo siempre de mis padres, siempre de, de la parte mía, estudiando en las escuelas públicas y eh, leyendo en las bibliotecas, que llegamos a decir que yo puedo ser la juez de este pueblo y yo soy la persona que tiene las más calificaciones para ser eh, elegida juez. Les pido por favor que el 26 de agosto voten por el número 52, Verónica Díaz. Muchas gracias. Uh, Ms. Diaz uh, failed to say that she is uh, an attorney and uh, that uh, and represents the city of Miami. So she's okay. my colleague. Uh, she uh, defends the, uh, the money that the taxpayers pay. So um, she, uh, she didn't say that because she's very humble, but uh, uh, she has quite a reputation throughout uh, the uh, legal community. Thank you very much. Any other comments? Got my vote. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Veronica Diaz, number 52, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Great thank to see you. you. Thank you. <clears throat> um, at this point, uh, anything <coughs> else for our committee report? Uh, Madam Manager, Madam Clerk, can you guide me in the order of the agenda? Do we need to take anything <coughs> out of order? Shall we? I would recommend, uh, Mr. Mayor and, and Madam Clerk, that um, we actually defer item 10A, 10B, and 10C, and that uh, these items be placed on your next uh, regular City Commission agenda. We are not prepared to address these items this evening with uh, some concrete information that is missing. Uh, that takes you to item 11A, and I would recommend to you, because this is a public hearing, it was advertised for a public hearing at 7.30 p.m., that you hear item under new business agenda 11A and 11B, and then proceed uh, to uh, the order of the agenda on 11C, 11D, 11E, and then we go back to the order of the agenda or get into the actual submittal of the budget. Okay. Can you read item uh, <coughs> 11A and B into the record, please? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Item 11 uh, is the, on the new business agenda items, 11A. This is a public hearing. The applicant, Jose Rodriguez, requests a special use permit for the property located at 6530 Southwest 13th Street, West Miami, Florida, 3144. The property is zoned for R2 duplex, and the applicant is requesting to redevelop the parcel to allow 
a two-family, two-story duplex attached to the existing structure, pursuant to zoning ordinance 282, section 2B41, by Mayor and City Commission. Thank you. Mr. Pena? Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Commissioners. <coughs> the applicant uh, had a public hearing before the Planning and Zoning Board on, on June 24th for a, uh, a single-family house that exists on the property now at 6530 to have a two-story duplex added to the back of the existing structure. Uh, the uh, applicant did a presentation before the board. The board had questions for them. Uh, they recommended approval with conditions, and two of the conditions were that the parking area be uh, find some alternative material so that it wouldn't be all concrete. And they have provided a new page there for installing grasscrete, uh, which allows grass to grow through the concrete so that it's not all uh, concrete in the front yard and also to uh, provide a landscape page which they have and is at the the request of the zoning board uh, we sent 500 radius feet around the property and uh, we have I think one gentleman at the last meeting uh, from the neighborhood with some questions uh, Today, uh, the applicant is here, and if you want, you could ask him questions regarding the design. Basically, it's leaving the existing structure of the main house in the front, adding a utility room for the main structure on the first floor, and then building a two-story addition to the back for the duplex part of it. Do you have anything printed uh, that we can view, or, or it's what we have? No, it's what you have in your plans. Okay. So uh, <coughs> the Planning and Zoning Board passed it with those two conditions, the parking and the landscape? And show those the landscape. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, good evening, Mayor. Good evening. Uh, see the Mayor, I'm sorry for I'm a little nervous. No, don't worry about it. Uh, Feel uh, right. Uh, I presentation uh, the. Let, let me tell you, many years ago, I used to be in your shoes, <laughs> and uh, all you need to do is get those butterfly fly information, and then <laughs> you speak. <laughs> you know, don't. Thank you for. So, so thank you feel for right at home. like me now. <laughs> okay, and and this occasion, the recommendation was that we need to present the la landscaping, and we presented to the uh, to the zoning planning, and everything was okay. Okay, I have a question. I, I mean, I saw the plans really quick. I have a couple of questions. Uh, the the new structure is going to have a uh, cement tile roof, right? Yes. What about the the existing structure? Also to match. It's uh, I I noticed it had shingle, but I didn't read the notes. Is it does it have shingles currently or not? Or I don't I know what the property has now, but it's depicted as a tile roof on the on the drawings. So it is tile roof on the drawing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I I misread it. Um, <coughs> is it new tile roof or existing tile roof? <laughs> yeah, it's shown as shingle on the front and tile on the back, but there will go with the tile on the whole structure. Why? I understand the 
you want to keep as much as possible. Or, I'm sorry. Away from the microphone. My apologies. <clears throat> I understand you want to keep as much as possible the property, uh, but uh, there's got to be some cohesiveness. So, so that's that's the reason I recommend it. Also, you had two different volumes that uh, they need to be somehow tied together. So, uh, in, in reference to the window, the the windows that you're going to put on on the addition are to match also the windows. They're single hung, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and it's zone duplex, so we're complying with zoning as far as setback and lot coverage and so on. Yes, the area is zone duplex and the lot coverage is within limits. Within the limits. Okay. I have no other further question. Anybody else? I have one question. Mr. Rodriguez, will you be living on the property or will this be for <coughs> rental? I am the owner of the property. Right, but will you be living on the property yes. or will? I live in the property. Perfect, okay, thank you. And, and the other duplex will be a rental? Or, I mean, the other portion will be rent or also family? I mean, this is just yeah, a question. It's only for my mom. Okay, all right. Thank you. Any other questions? No. Okay. Um, at this point. Remember, the, the first house is very small, it's only a, it's a, it's a square feet, it's, it's very small. Sir, would you get closer to the mic, please? Acerque al micrófono, yeah. por favor. The, the, fair, uh, the fair house existing is very small. It's only 822 square feet. Yeah. No, no, I, I, believe me, I understand the, the, the way it was done. If you, if you touch the two houses together, then, then you lose uh, <laughs> ventilation, you lose window, and the existing house, and, and so on. So uh, it was very clever the way it was done, connected with a, with a laundry room. Okay. Mr. Ben, I have a question. That terrace in the back, mm -hmm. the, the resident that came to speak, they, there was no problem? No one had a problem with that terrace no. in the back overlooking other properties? No. Okay. Well, at this point, I would like to, uh, unless you have anything else, I would like to open the public hearing. We open the public hearing. Anybody that wants to speak on the subject? Okay. Nobody? No. Close the public hearing. Back to the table. I need a motion. And we have to read the resolution. The resolution was read already. Read. Yeah. Motion. Second. No, the resolution was not read. Oh, I, I'm i sorry. Yes. Uh, I absolutely read you allow me on my reading. Item 11B, Resolution of the Mayor and the City Commission of Thank the City you. of West Miami approving special use permit for plan development number 2014-001 at 6530 Southwest 13th Street, West Miami, Florida 33144. The property is currently zoned for R2 duplex. The applicant is requesting to redevelop the parcel to allow a two-family, two-story duplex attached to the existing structure, and in lieu of thereof, requiring certain terms and conditions pursuant to Zoning Ordinance 282, Section 2B, for one by Mayor and City Commission. Uh, I make a motion. And on the motion, we need to add the additional condition of the uh, tile roof on the existing resident. Okay. Um, who second the motion? Second. Okay. Can you call the vote, please? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Rodriguez, are you vote? Yes. Commissioner Blanca? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. 4 0, item passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, 11C? If that's the recommendation, yes, 11C. Item 11C, this is an award of proclamation to Officer Manuel Bello for being selected as Officer of the Year by the Florida Police Chiefs Association. This item is sponsored by Commissioner Blanca and Mayor and City Commission. Commissioner Blanca. I would like to yield to the Chief at this, at this moment, please. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor, Commissioners. Uh, we're very proud of Officer Bello. Um, when I realized his actions were notorious enough to nominate him for this award, I did so with, with great pleasure because it's not often that uh, someone displays the bravery and the actions that Officer Bello took, uh, placing his life in peril 
uh, to save someone else. And he went before the nomination went to the Florida Police Chiefs Association uh, last spring. And uh, just last week, Officer Bello, his wife, and Captain Avila went to the association meeting where he received the award. And myself, the captain, the lieutenant, and the entire department is very proud that he received this award. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Well, come, uh, let's come forward. This is a proclamation where it says, July 13, 2013, Officer Manuel Bello, Bello responded to an emergency call of the Miami-Dade PD Police Department being shot at, whereas Officer Bello volunteered to remove the gun laying near to one of the wounded officers and to actually drag him to the street where paramedics could treat him and whereas Officer Bello placed himself in a great peril by accepting this dangerous challenge, yet he remained humble in his daringly, we're using some beautiful words here, dangerously <laughs> endeavors. Now therefore be to resolve, I, Mayor Eduardo Muña, Vice Mayor Juan Blanes, Commissioner Candida Blanca, Commissioner Ronda Rodriguez, and Commissioner Luciano Suarez hereby recognize Officer Manuel Bello, City of West Miami Police Department for your outstanding work, dedication, and professionalism in your life-saving action during 2013 for raising the bar in the enforcement field and for your selection as the most outstanding officer of the year for the entire state of Florida. Do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> By the Florida Police Our own West Miami. Yeah. Huh? All right. For 2013. In witness thereof, I have undergo set by hand to cause the seal of the city of West Miami to be affixed to the 16th day of July in the year of our Lord 2014. Sponsored by Candida, Commissioner Candida Blanca, <laughs> <laughs> Mayor Eduardo Muña. Congratulations. Thank you. He's really good. <laughs> <laughs> In or out? and all the police officers here, thanks to them, they show me how to be what I am now. A great, you know, police officer. Just follow my mentors. Thank you for everything.
Manny, we're very proud of you. Yes, very proud. Dale, dale, dale. It's a great property. Thank you. Okay, next, next item. item. Mr. Mayor, item 11D. A word of recognition to the sponsors of the 4th of July event by Mayor and City Commission. And I'm happy to uh, announce the, the um, the donors of uh, of who made the Fourth of July a memorable event uh, were the following: T. Y. Lean International, H. A. Rose, Gomez Market Associates Inc., Greater Miami Caterers Inc., Florida Education Institute, Executive National Bank, Total Bank, and the state companies. So, from the the donors uh, who are present, please I ask them to come forward so you can be presented with a. Uh, recognition. We have uh, Mr. Mayor. We have um, T. Y. Lynn H. J. Ross represented. We have Florida Educational Institute, and we have uh, Greater Miami Caterings. Um, so. Did you confirm your attendance? I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's around the corner. Your, I have your, but not frame, but we can do it. That's not a problem. No, no, no. So, Mr. Mayor. I'll, 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 I'll follow you. Open the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Florida Education Institute. Okay. Okay, no, I thought you were Greater Miami. No, I'm, yeah. Greater Miami, that's Jackie. Yeah. But they told me, okay. Jackie. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. It's okay, we have your safety people. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> It's a Jackie. You want me to mount it for you? Once again, uh, this is the big This is our work with Florida Education Institute. The mayor and the city commission of the city of West Miami recognizes our sponsorship to the 4th of July 2014 event. And hereby extend our gratitude for our continued commitment and ongoing support to improve the quality of life in our community. Today, this 16th day of July 2014. Mr. Mayor, while uh, the pictures are being taken, I wanted to also, on the part of the administration, thank you all for being sponsors to every single calling made by the City of West Miami for every single event from the moment that you open your doors. And so um, we feel that you are all part of this family, and we thank you for your continued support. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, um, it's a pleasure to hear those words. And uh, uh, Mr. Valenti, the owner of the school, cannot be here. He asked me to come. Um, and uh, I want to thank you all. It's a pleasure to contribute to the city of West Miami, to be a part of uh, the city of West Miami. And we look forward to continuing to sponsor future events. And, uh, and I just want to clarify, I want to make sure everybody understands, Raymond Valenti is just fine. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I, w I did get a, we got a, a card in the mail uh, from, his, from uh, Mayor Moinha, uh thinking that something happened to him, a stroke or something. I just want to make sure everybody's clear. He is just fine. Good. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what, I think what may have happened, I know we lost her grandmother uh, about a month ago, um, who was oh, very God. important uh, to us, and she helped uh, raise Raymond. So she uh, did uh, pass away from a stroke. So Raymond did not have a stroke. He is just fine. <laughs> and he told me uh, to thank you all. And that, uh, and, and by the way, it just meant so much that, you know, God forbid, thank God nothing did happen to him. But if something were to happen, at least we know that you guys cared and uh, definitely showed your concern. That, that Absolutely. Means, uh, so thank you all very much. We're sorry for your loss.
the mayor of the city commission of the, of the city of West Miami recognizes your sponsorship to the 4th of July 2014. I hereby extend our gratitude for your continued commitment and I'm going to support and improve the quality of life in our community. Today is the 16th day of July 14th. Mr. Mayor, the same goes to T.Y. Lynn, and obviously echoing your words, uh, we wish to thank you because without the corporate sponsorships from uh, firms such as T.Y. Lynn and those that are being recognized, the city would be unable to sponsor the, the events that we put together for the benefit of the community. So we always call upon our, our, our partners, and, and thank you for coming through for us, for being here, and for being a, a true partner of the city of West Miami. Thank you, Mr. Nessie. Jackie, thank you for your many years of support to the center and to the citizenry. Thank you very much. Maybe it's a, it's a good idea if you if you keep uh, if you want to stand there. You yes, have another stand item in the front because item E is a presentation of certificate of recognition to resident Theodore Ted Mikitka on his 90th birthday celebration and for his service to the United States Army. This item is sponsored by Mayo Mujinha. Mary Ellen and, and family, please come up and join uh, Mr. Makika, the mayor and the city commission, for some pictures. And, and he's, he's going to have a speech for everybody, right? 
Happy birthday. Thank you for your service to our country and um, to many more years of happiness, health, and many blessings to you and your family, Mr. Mekika. By the way, Mr. Mayor, and for the benefit of the public, and I think uh, his daughter Mary Ellen already knows and may have been contacted, but the Miami Herald is going to run a story in the neighbor section honoring um, Mr. Makika's service uh, in the United States Army and celebrating your birthday. So I wanted to make hold this announcement till this evening, and um, I think um, I think it will be a very very pleasant and nice story for all the citizens of West Miami. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Once again. Congratulations. No war stories. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we had to carry on. <laughs> Next item, please. Would you like to proceed with the uh, with the order of the agenda, Mr. Mayor? Uh, as you suggest. Yes. Item F. This is a submission of a preliminary city budget for fiscal year 2014-2015 by city manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and uh, Vice Mayor and members of the City Commission. This is the time of year where uh, all managers throughout Miami-Dade County uh, submit the budget or a preliminary budget for the following fiscal year. Uh, our fiscal year runs October 1st of each year through September 30th, and uh, we must meet statutory requirements. And uh, I've given, I presented to you um, over the weekend, actually on Friday, we submitted the budget books, and every year we look for a cover which tells the story of the city of West Miami and pretty much a, a vision as to where we're headed. And this year, we selected some of our residential properties that we are, are very <coughs> proud to feature. And we also selected to, um, to show you some cranes and some new, new construction in the city of West Miami. And so we hope that you approve. And it's, it's sort of like a message. Uh, the residential community and obviously uh, what's happening along our commercial corridors. And we hope that this will bring a benefit to the city of West Miami in future years. The, um, in accordance with the provisions of our city charter and the state of Florida, our requirements are that the office of the city manager presents a preliminary budget during the month of July of each year for fiscal year commencing October 1st, 2014 through September 30th, 2015. While I would like to make it as brief as possible, this is the time of year where we have to go into the record and, and basically put the city's position and obviously how we envision that next year will unfold in terms of needs and service to the residents. This document incorporates all the phases of tax reforms that occurred in, in past years, and we know those as Amendment 1 and Amendment 2. 
a calendar for the upcoming suggested budget hearings based on the requirements set forth by the state of Florida is also submitted as approved so that we can comply with both the county and the state of Florida, the Department of Revenue as to our public hearing requirements. Our public hearings on the, on the city budget cannot be held at the same time as Miami-Dade County Public Schools or the Board of County Commissioners. So the mayor and the city commission of the city have set aside Monday, September 8th, 2014 at 7.30 p.m. as our first public hearing on the tentative city budget and Wednesday, September 17th, 2014 at 7.30 p.m. for the final budget hearing. After the submittal of the city's budget, we have three working days beyond this evening to submit our tentative millage rates to Miami-Dade County Property Appraiser's Office and the State of Florida Department of Revenue. The Office of Property Appraisal provided us with the average single family home assess values. Uh, today, uh, based on the 2013 assessed values, a homesteaded property, uh, an average single family home, is assessed at $152,243. After the homestead, homestead exemption deductions, the average homesteaded property will pay taxes based on $106,785. A total of 255 senior citizens qualified for the additional homestead exemption. This represents a total of $12,639,122 less in taxable assessed values or a total of $82,670 less in real estate and property tax revenues. Senior citizens who qualify under the county and city exemptions will take an additional homestead exemption for up to $50,000 along with their regular homestead and other deductions such as widows and those that are legally blind that take a, um, an additional exemption. And that is pursuant to the passage of City Ordinance 2013-02. Um, and, and basically uh, where you buy granted this um, opportunity to our senior citizens who qualify based on their household uh, combined income. Our present millage rate is 6.8858. Out of that, one mill is dedicated to the City of West Miami Recreation Center as prescribed by Ordinance 133. Under the new assessed value information schedule provided by Miami-Dade County using our present millage rate, uh, the worth of a mill is $286,962. And that's based on our 95% budget requirements set by that trim calendar, which is pretty much the guideline where we have to prepare the formula for uh, deriving our, our, our revenue from real estate and property taxes. The increase in the value of the, meal, uh, of the mill is due to the increase in assessed values as published by Miami-Dade County, which reflects an overall increase of 6.4%. The growth represents a total of $118,544. Of this amount, $17,216 is dedicated to the City of West Miami Recreation Center as required by Ordinance 133. This is the, the first time that the city records a growth in assessed values since 2007. The city experienced a total 44.47% loss in real estate and property taxes which uh, represents over a million dollars since 2007. And even with a 6.4% increase this year, we are still a long way from recovery. The Department of Revenue provided us with a formula on how to compute the rollback rate to include the per capita Florida personal income and how we will arrive at the 2014-15 millage rate of 6.8858 and of course the revenue that that will generate to the city. Um, again, I talked to you already about the 95% uh, tax revenue, which we must calculate into our revenue projections, and that is guided by the state of Florida. Properties protected by, our save, uh, by the Save Our Homes will see a slight increase even if our millage remains flat. Those properties acquired since 2005 moving forward will see a slight increase as well. 
By keeping the millage rate flat, we are still forced to publish a notice of tax increase as governed by TRIM, which is called Truth in Millage. We've given you actual scenarios starting with a $90,000 assessed value and with increments of $10,000 to show you the variables, how much those houses protected by Save Our Homes and those that are not protected by Save Our Homes will be impacted. And so we've given you a color chart that is attached to your budget presentation. The city's independent auditor submitted the city's financial statement for fiscal year ended September 30th, 2013 to the mayor and city commission at a publicly aired city commission meeting. In that report, they issued their findings and recommendations. And while the city has improved its finances during last fiscal year, and we remain true to the task of being frugal with doing more with less, we still have a long way to go. Again, for the first time in over seven years, and as a result of gradual, uh, a gradual rebound in the economy, we have seen some revenue increases, and in some instances, revenues have been scaled back to reflect actual six months receipts, which means not all categories of our revenue accounts has, will see increases next year. Um, we've included a 2% employee increase across the board that reflects the CPI published by the Department of Labor. The exhibit has also been incorporated in the city's preliminary budget. There are a few positions that include a restructure of the salary on the, of the individual based on their added duties and responsibilities. Those positions are the one um, occupied um, of our city clerk, and that one includes a 4% increase recommendation, and that is subject to the discretion of the mayor and city commission because the city clerk responds to the mayor and city commission. The uh, position of director of public works includes a 5.6% increase. The public works foreman also includes a 4.5% increase, and the assistant to the city manager uh, includes a 10.7% increase, and this is all recommendation based on additional duties and responsibilities that these individuals have had to take on over the last few years. All salaries have been addressed with the exception of the city manager and the city attorney who fall under direct supervision of the mayor and city commission. Also, this budget does not contemplate any increase for the administration of the police department, meaning the chief, the captain, and the lieutenant. And the jury's still out on that, and we will bring you back a recommendation as we get closer to the budget hearings during the month of September. We are currently commencing our negotiations with police, and uh, while negotiations cannot be disclosed, we will complete negotiations and negotiate in good faith as provided by Florida statutes. We have set a cap of dollars for the department increases, and that is for law enforcement officers who are members of the collective bargaining um, uh, agreement that fall under the collective bargaining agreement with the PBA. The allocation sits in a line item and separate and apart from salaries until we reach an agreement with the union and the commission action is obviously achieved. This is a preliminary budget. It is expected that some changes will occur as we get closer to our tentative and final budget hearings. Changes usually occur before the first tentative budget hearing. This document contains recurring revenue, impact fees, capital improvements, unfunded mandates, insurance costs, projects, changes, personnel action, and resources identified during the course of the fiscal year and a mid-year review as of March 30th, 2014. Our budget addresses the needs and service first. Our goal and objective is to deliver efficient city service to the citizens and to fulfill the mandates given to us by the mayor <coughs> and city commission members in terms of service and projects and programs for the community. Equipment needs that we're, we have been unable to fund have been addressed with use of impact fee dollars that qualify for capital purchases. The city is still paying for equipment under lease purchase agreements that were ex executed prior to the existence from the revenue coming from impact fees. 
These recent equipment purchases should address the excessive cost on our various divisions labeled equipment repair accounts. These costs come with aging equipment that have depleted those accounts over the years, primarily affecting police and public works. <clears throat> All the departments have submitted a vehicle inventory list and those have been included to include um, the year, the make, the model, the mileage, and the general condition of all the vehicles assigned to each department so that we can make projections and assess equipment needs each year before the budget cycle. We have for now cured a sense of urgency that existed with the recent equipment purchases. The bulk of our revenues are derived from real estate and property taxes, garbage fees, licenses, alarms, revenue sharing, franchise, excise taxes, sales tax, and the recent passage of the uh, red light camera program, and our very popular passport service. Those are your big ticket items in the various funds in terms of revenues. In some of the revenue categories, we are seeing some activity by way of storefront rentals and construction already in the pipeline in progress, which is an encouraging sign of a recovering economy. Nonetheless, the city must proceed with caution. The CPI index reported a 2% growth for all urban consumers as of May 2014 and we did not build into it the seasonal increase, which was, uh, I believe, qualified at 4%. We've also attached a copy of the United States Department of Labor Statistics summary for your ready reference. We studied our revenue and expenses with the ov overall economic situation of the city of West Miami, along with the overall economic growth and with a continued anti-tax increase sentiment, we have prepared our budget estimates based on a flat millage rate of 6.8858. Although increases and in new revenues are necessary to fund necessities and the need to rebuild reserves, we are not proposing an increase to the millage or to the garbage fee at this time. We feel that we can manage by taking a modest amount of undesignated, unreserved savings to close the budget gap for another year when property values are expected to continue a gradual growth pattern and until we start to see some of the projects in the pipeline come online. We have increased revenue allocations to reflect revenues received at the end of March 30th, 2014 which is a result of our mid-year unaudited receipts. We have decreased revenues in categories where revenues have not been realized, and we have taken measures to project increases in those categories where we see growth and the potential for growth. We must keep in mind that our state revenue projections are based on a per capita distribution formula from the state of Florida, and some of those revenues depend on actual collection by others. New revenue categories will be identified on the left-hand side with an assigned account number and a brief description of each item. It should be noted that over the next three to five years, the city should expect a growth in its census with an expected population increase if these projects that are in the pipeline are all completed. This should increase our population from approximately 6,030 residents to over 8,000 city residents. This should increase, at the same time, our per capita distribution of state collections in a few of our revenue category in the coming years. We've given you, on the revenue side, a list of the large ticket items, mark them as increases or decreases to the general fund, and we have outlined all these categories in bullet points for your ready reference. Again, the increase in revenue by a 6.4% from real estate and property taxes, um, the collections from Florida Power and Light in their franchise and excise categories, the uh, city permit and zoning variant fees will come back into the general fund, while the building uh, permit fees will be posted to the uh, enterprise fund that goes with the building department. We've transferred uh, some money from PTP for the Southwest 9th Street parking. We've transferred from reserves an amount of $80,677 to balance the budget. While it is not a good idea 
to take money from reserves, and it is should not be common practice. We believe that this um, this year uh, taking from reserves is a short term cure, if you want to call it, approach until new development and until the 2014 tax rolls are published, which we expect to see some growth there. Um, the city had $701,000 in the general fund after the audit was completed as of September 30th, 2013. We expect that at the end of September 30th of this year, our coffers in the general fund will have a total of about approximately three quarters of a million dollars, $750,000. So we're proposing to take $80,000 to basically close the gap so that we can address all the items that are set forth in the budget. We've taken into account that we uh, need to transfer from our designated reserves the uh, money that we had earmarked, $115,000 for the construction of the public works building, and that building uh, will house several of our divisions. We also um, are transferring in a uh, designated reserve, like an accrual, uh, of $50,000 because we expect that our general liability insurance will increase. We're expecting for the Florida League of Cities to give us their renewal numbers sometime early August. We have been in touch with them, and it is not until their actuary study um, completion that they're able to give the renewal rates. We expect to see also an increase in the medical insurance account, and uh, we have uh, basically transferred in from the reserves designated $30,000 and that will clear our reserve designated for medical insurance. Um, we're seeing a slight increase in the state revenue sharing and that's based on population. We included an increase in sales tax receipts. Um, we've included the revenue coming from impact fees for the future capital projects and that is from the uh, pr um, developments in the pipeline. Um, we've included some decreases in the category of telecommunication service tax from the state of Florida, and that's based on legislative action. Uh, we have decreased red light camera based on current receipts and collections. Um, We've included a revenue from code enforcement fines and mitigation fees that were previously diverted to the building department. And we've also bundled the revenues coming in from cell tower revenues in one revenue category to include also the CPI under each contract. So uh, the, cost of, the cost of providing service continues to increase, the purchase of gasoline, and that's an unknown, obviously. The cost of dumping our waste in the county's facilities is budgeted using a CPI um, pursuant to our contracts. Um, all products purchased from vendors increases in the employer portion of the retirement contributions to the state pension system. Again, liability insurance, uh, medical insurance, workers' compensation promises increases, and the rising cost of providing electricity and the maintenance to our city facilities. The purchase of water and sewer from Miami-Dade County uh, Water and Sewer Authority is also expected to increase by an amount of about 4%, and this is subject to the Board of County Commission action. We have conducted a full review of our operating accounts, and we have made adjustments where possible. All things considered, any increase in revenues will not be sufficient to make up the difference on the uh, all the revenue loss since the economic de decline. And so it results in us having to turn to our reserves to assist this one year. Um, we have budgeted an estimated $521,780 over and above last year's revenues. This increase is primarily coming from the expected impact fees that we have calculated at $460,000, and a balance of $61,780 is derived from real estate and property taxes and other sources to include the transfer of reserve designated accounts to fund mandates and programs that have been ongoing or previously approved or identified by the mayor and city commission. 
We've gained revenues in some areas and lost in others. The preliminary 2014-15 general fund budget total is $5,200,079, or an 11.15% increase over the 2013-2014 city budget. A summary of the general fund expenditures can be found for all general fund related activities with a breakdown of all the expenses for each division. Below, you will capture the big ticket items, capital outlay needs, or different or new or different activities. The general fund provides for the opportunity to charge each department or division with 100% of the life insurance costs for each department based on the users. And that goes for the medical, uh, the life, and the dental. The general fund provides for the funding of the city's legislative consultant based on his retainer schedule. A, um, and, and the list is basically um, in, in bullet form to talk to you about how FICA is affected, how, how uh, the retirement contributions at the payroll uh, level basically um, affects our budget with a 2% increase and with the increases that uh, were made by uh, the legislation this year, which is mandatory, and uh, the city has absolutely no say in that. Um, how your workers' compensation and general liability uh, are funded based on a preliminary estimate, and we are expecting uh, renewal premiums so that we can better project what the numbers are going to be for next year. Again, as we get closer to the tentative and final budget hearings, we will have some better and, and more solid numbers for you. Um, let me see. Okay, we have inserted a line item for the November 2014 general election to fund potential charter amendments in the amount of $7,500, and we've talked about the potential cost for the charter amendments on the November ballot. We have reduced computer services by $20,000 since our server has been installed, and now we have an IT department in-house that should help us save some money in some categories and, um, and help us in keeping our computer uh, expenses down. We have decreased the non-department 429 account, meaning the City of West Miami Contingency Fund. This account, for our reference, covers any other item that comes up throughout the course of the year that we have not contemplated or made provisions for. We have uh, addressed, we've incorporated a modest amount of $2,500 to address the republication of the city's charter and code of ordinances. And our, your city attorney has talked to you about the need to uh, basically republish the entire charter and code of ordinances. And this is based on the recent charter review process. We have uh, designated and restricted um, impact fee dollars for capital improvements that either have been funded, identified, or will be addressed during this coming fiscal year as part of your impact fee program that comes with development. The city has budgeted a transfer to the West Miami Community Center from general funds in the amount of $26,314, and also utilizing reserves from the community center amount in the amount of $25,000 to balance the community center budget. We've included a line item to fund a credit line that has been approved by the mayor and city commissioners to repay the debt service, which is year one of 20, for a $500,000 credit line for the construction of the building department, public works, zoning, licenses, and motor pool areas. That, in addition to the $115,000 in reserves, should give us $615,000 for the construction of the building. The city has um, funded, the city has zeroed out the annexation account that we had last year due to our unsuccessful attempt to annex. Um, again, we have highlighted, we have prepared for you small bullets in paragraphs on the Florida retirement system issue, the impact fees, where those dollars go, the clerical positions and the use of personnel in our office due to the different um, 
uh, job duties and responsibilities, the IT department, the issue of collective bargaining has been addressed, retirement, and also the surtax dollars. As you know, the surtax is a separate enterprise fund, and it addresses the half cent penny tax uh, with the revenue estimates provided to us by Miami-Dade County during the month of August each year. We need to also keep in mind that PTP cannot by law supplant or offset the level of service that was in existence prior to 2001, which is the uh, year before the half cent penny tax went into force as a result of a referendum voted by the people of Miami-Dade County. We have taken into consideration a rental increase according to the contract between the City of West Miami and 1811 Southwest 67th Avenue, the city property, where uh, we have leased out the property to MKS Automotive. We have addressed our trash bins along our commercial corridors uh, with our outdoor media contract, and we have made provisions to budget for recurring revenue based on the number of cans that are uh, actually placed in the public right-of-way. We have funded the last year of um, payment that the water owes the general fund for the actual design, inspection, and installation of a water main under part of the, the reconstruction of Southwest 67 62nd Avenue. We have uh, made provisions to fund the Public Works Capital Outlay. Um, again, we addressed equipment. We've addressed the uh, motor pool area. The gasoline, obviously, we have budgeted based on actual expenses. We have addressed the revenue, and on the expense side, we have addressed the issue of meter parking as a startup program. We have now addressed and have a very nice enhanced city website, which was launched on April 7, 2014, and obviously connected to our social media known as Facebook. Next in line, and uh, before September 1st, 2014, the city will feature online payments for water, sewer, storm water, and garbage bills. This, um, this obviously, this upgrade to the system is funded also with impact fee dollars um, so that the citizens are not burdened with the cost. We have uh, addressed the issue of uh, capital outlay in the police department by way of, uh, of vehicles, and we are honoring the third year funding using operational dollars for the uh, vehicles that are financed. Where possible, we are purchasing police equipment or vehicles with use of impact fees, grants, equitable sharing, and the LETF funds without the need to further impact the city's reserve or use any further taxpayer dollars were possible. Police radios. The city operates <coughs> under a 800 megahertz uh, police radios for communication purposes for emergency calls. Those were purchased through Miami-Dade County uh, back in 1995. The county agreed to finance the purchase of the radios at that time, and the expense then was $65,253.28, based on the number of radios purchased at the time by the city from Miami-Dade County. On March 12, 2014, Miami-Dade County um, wrote us a letter, and as a result of an audit that they conducted, they realized that we owed them a remaining $23,149.53 from those radios. And what happened was is Miami-Dade County stopped billing the city of West Miami and obviously never called us, never billed us, and um, we were recently notified that we still owed them $23,000. So. Um, this was, um, the purchase was dated in 1995. The purchase of the police radios uh, was transacted in 1995. The county realizes... Well, they, they, they might have uh, lost their, uh, their right to recover. Uh, so... Uh, we'll, we'll have this conversation. We'll have the conversation. Absolutely. 
Uh, the county realizes and acknowledges that they have never made efforts to collect or build the city for the last two payments for the radios, and they have graciously agreed to allow us two years to pay the outstanding debt that totals 23149 Obviously, now our city attorney hopefully will be uh, able to assist further, but this is obviously a potential liability, and we call it to Why your attention. <laughs> what are you talking about? So <laughs> this, <laughs> if we have to pay this, this has triggered a $12,000 ticket item on the police division budget. Grants, we're working closely with Ecostrata Inc. and our, um, our um, its president, Robert Ruano, uh, our grant writer has been uh, very aggressive in trying to pursue grants for the city. We have successfully been awarded two grants, a $10,000 grant for the, from the Department of Agriculture with a required $10,000 match from the City of West Miami 2013-2014 budget reserves that we will use to develop a forestry program at the recently acquired property at 1129 Southwest 66th Avenue. The police department was recently awarded a grant in the amount of $10,000 for the purchase and upgrade of the defibrillators used in the event of a cardiac related call. And these are used by our first responders to save lives. It is to be understood that grants do not subsidize the routine operational items. Grants are for capital projects and they have a, spe a specific use. Any deviation from the intended use will result in the forfeiture of funds. So in addition, the city must look beyond the grant because all monies or proceeds coming from grants to fund projects must include operational dollars to address sustainability in coming years. Uh, we've touched upon the water and sewer. This is uh, obviously an item very dear to all of us, and we are expecting um, some, some news from Miami-Dade County. Mr. Pena has been attending meetings. Uh, right now, we believe that we can absorb the proposed increase, but a final decision by the county has not been made as, as, as of the submittal of this budget. The... Um, Sewers, we have an issue regarding a, um, the overhaul or, or the complete overhaul of a lift station located on Southwest 8th Street for an estimated cost of $100,000. Um, we built the system, again, we must sustain it. Um, the city is transferring $66,000 um, or actually um, taking in ex an expected uh, impact fee revenue of $66,000 and we are transferring $34,000 from reserve designated in your sewer fund, which is a paper surplus to complete the uh, project of the overhaul of the lift station on Southwest 8th Street. Southwest 18th Street. 18th Street. And My bad, Mr. Avenue. Pena. Thank you. I stand corrected. 18th Street. As you know, over the last 18 months, you have, we have brought to you emergency requests for approval of funds to overhaul, overhaul pumps at our various lift stations. Our sewer system pumps operate 24 seven and the stations need overhaul every so often, an issue that has been dealt with on it with a band-aid approach for years. The drainage project, which was completed in the mid uh, 90s, is entering its 15 year life cycle and we will be requiring major renovations and restoration efforts at the various stations over the next three to five years. We are incorporating all of these overhauls and major renovations in your budget for this coming year. We have uh, broken down um, all the revenues and all the expenses to each respective enterprise fund. The City of West Miami Recreation Center Fund is funded in part by a one mill dedicated source of funding. And the other funding is derived from user fees, summer camp, after school fees, membership fees for non-residents and corporate sponsors for city events on the revenue side. We have seen a steady 
flow in the rental revenue from the use by outside parties of the Rebecca Sosa building and the West Miami Pavilion rental, two sources of revenue that are fairly new to the fund over the last four to five years. Rentals have declined a bit at the multi-purpose, however, we are still deriving fair income. We have added a full-time custodian position to attend to the multi-purpose facility. Without a spotless and clean center and continued maintenance, we will not be able to offer attractive rental opportunities. It is likely that we will continue to be successful in obtaining corporate sponsorships for our events next year based on what we have generated this year and in prior years. Summer camp numbers are driven by summer camp activity and we can only be guided by previous year's participation. We are confident that we will service consistently an average of 150 to 185 campers on a weekly basis over a 10 week period of time. Just yesterday, Mr. Geswicki, John Michael Lopez and, and um, Jessica. Uh, met and our numbers continue to be um, very high with our summer camp participation. We are pretty much averaging the la for the last five weeks, I'm sorry, 166 kids a day. But that comes at a price. Um, we have a very successful program. However, um, at some point during the month of August in your next meeting, we're going to need to address the issue of increases, a slight increase in summer camp fees for next year to cover for the adequate um, supervision and care that we offer at the center. And as well, Mr. Geswicki and I will be addressing you at the next regular commission meeting regarding the after school care fees. Those are two specialized areas where we have to devote manpower efforts and obviously those costs are unsustainable at a certain point based on the income that we are deriving and although we will stay very modest this budget includes revenue so that we can fund adequate supervision at the park for both the after school care program and our summer camp program There are several items that we are striving to accomplish or complete that we still have projects that have been listed as a reminder of the things that need to be done at the West Miami Recreation Center, such as the irrigation pump for the recreational uh, grounds. And we are uh, trying to do something to qualify for a FERDAP program. Um, but again, these are grants and these are the unknowns. We have some money in accrual to address these items. And so uh, we've talked about building a barbecue at the pavilion to make it more attractive for rental purposes. And we intend to look at that and fund them out of impact fees. We have talked about uh, area improvements in the racquetball area. I know that we, have, um, we still have to meet with the chairman of the park to talk about some thoughts and ideas that we have for a wellness center. And this is something that may intertwine with a program that Commissioner Rhonda Rodriguez would like to implement as well. So all these items have been highlighted in your budget for your consideration. Um, the city has been very successful with FERDAP grants throughout the years and we're ready to convene as required with the advisory board so that we can have the necessary or, or um, elements in place that would qualify us for future funding. Comprehensive plan update must be amended before we seek future dollars from FERDAP and other recreational grants. Community Center Fund, it should be noted that we have been successful with obtaining federal dollars through a program called NSIP funded by the Department of Agriculture over the last three years. The NSIP funds will be here uh, again as a recurring revenue to the city and they pay us 60 cents over and above what the Alliance for Aging reimburses the city in, and, and so um, with this, co this money coming in from the NSIP and the increase from the Alliance for Aging, we have actually lowered the contribution from general fund to the West Miami Community Center. 
A notice of proposed taxes will be mailed out in late August by the Office of Property Appraiser. The notice will include our tentative budget hearing dates, the time and the place for the meeting. It should be noted again that this is a preliminary budget. Any change to the budget usually happens prior to the tentative budget hearing. I hope the contents of the message will assist you in walking through the budget. While we are still far from our economic recovery, all revenue indicators seem to point out to better times in the future. However, for our purpose of budgeting at this time, we must address what is before us now. City employees have been addressed in the preliminary budget for it, it is their time to see some of their lost growth of uh, income over the years and being addressed and as a token of our appreciation for their hard labor and dedication to the city. We've been able to maintain our level of service to the citizenry with no interruption or lowering the quality of life services that West Miami, that make West Miami such a distinguished community. We are recommending that you stay the course on keeping your millage rate flat. In closing, I renew my commitment to work for our city and with our elected officials and leaders to ensure that we have a community founded on core municipal services and one that we are proud to live, work, and play. We trust that the clip art that we have chosen will be our daily reminder of what to expect this coming year. And I look forward to working with you in the coming weeks to answer any and all your questions, comments, concerns, suggestions on those items, projects, and programs or proposals that you believe should be made a part of this budget. I am really blessed to be part of the West Miami family and to serve as your city manager. Um, there are numerous exhibits here, and again, I look forward to meeting with you in the coming weeks to address the budget. I thank you for your patience this evening. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Let me uh, quote uh, for the record 95.11 Florida statute limitation to other than uh, for recovery of real property. Uh, it states that uh, illegal equitable action on contract obligation or liability found on a written instrument except for actions to enforce a claim against uh, payment bonds for which the government uh, by applicable provision of uh, uh, section uh, 255 is within five years. Okay. So the letter will Good be news. ready tomorrow morning to Miami-Dade County. Okay. Good news. Thank you. Hopefully we can uh, get the county to <coughs> make this go away and that will give us $12,000 less than we dip into re okay. reserves. Okay. Can you statute limitation. Anything else? Can you read uh, item G, uh, please? Item G, 11G, resolution of the city of West Miami, Florida, establishing the 2014 tentative millage rates upon all real and personal property within the city limits for the payment of the amount appropriated in 2014-15 preliminary budget by mayor and city commission. Thank you. Um, uh, let me, uh, before we go forward, uh, for the benefit of uh, especially uh, Commission Rhonda Rodriguez, uh, the following items that you're going to see related to the budget are, in other words, they're presented already, and, and all we have to do is go forward with the motion, unless, you know, you have any any comments uh, contrary to to what is being presented. So, therefore, item G was read. Uh, if we're in agreement, I need uh, a to make motion. I make a motion. So I have a motion, and who second? Second. Okay. I have a s first and a second. Can you call the vote, please? Yes, and the vote. Commissioner Blanca, how do you yes. vote? Commissioner Rodriguez? Yes. Vice Mayor Planes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. For zero, item passes. For the record, Commissioner uh, Suarez has arrived. Thank you. Uh, but for the record, the items related to the budget, uh, I don't think, uh, uh, Mr. Attorney, yes. items related to the budget, uh, can the vice may I mean can can the commissioner swat a vote on this those items? Well, uh, the uh, commissioner was not present at the time that it was read, so uh, he should not uh, vote on here. Okay, all right. Next item, uh, item H. H. Uh, resolution of the City of West Miami, Florida, adopting the 2014-2015 preliminary budget by Mayor and City Commission. Thank you. Need a motion. Motion. Second. 
No, you can't. Uh, uh, oh, you have to I'm, abstain. I'm sorry. I'm, I thought it was saying new. Okay. okay. Motion by Commissioner Blanca, second by Vice Mayor Blanes. On the motion, Commissioner Rodriguez, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Bl uh, Blanca? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. 4 0. Item passes. Item I? Item I. Resolution of the City of West Miami, Florida, adopting the preliminary water enterprise fund budget for the year 2014-2015 in the sum of $635,109.00 by Mayor and City Commission. Okay. Motion. Okay, I need a second. Second. Okay. Uh, can you call the vote, please? Yes, Commissioner Rodriguez, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Blanca? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. 4 0. Item passes. Okay. Uh, so we have dealt with all the items in the budget, right? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Can you follow the order of the agenda or shall we go back to the beginning? Uh, items What's your suggestion? <coughs> it's up to your consideration, Mr. Mayor. Items 10 A, B, and C. We're tabled. Yeah, why, why, do you, uh, why do we go back to the original order of the agenda? Okay, so we'll let's hold back. off on J. Uh, Item 5 would be the, the original order uh, this time. Madam Manager? No report, sir. No report. Item 5, report of the manager, no report. Item, Item 6, report of the city attorney. No report. No report. Item 7, report of the city engineers. No report. No report. Uh, committee, rep committee report was addressed already on uh, item 9, citizen presentations. No, uh, Nobody has registered with my office to present before the city commission. Item 10, under unfinished business, uh, is taken from the table. Item 10A, a was report. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, A, A was deferred. It was B tabled. Right. Oh, it was tabled. It was okay. tabled. So B was tabled. Item 10A, and B and C were tabled, okay. so you can take it from the table or, uh, at any time of your consideration. I'm a little confused. Uh, I thought we were going to defer it to, to I mean, uh, we August meeting because we don't have some concrete estimates to provide you with this for your consideration. So, so we're going to so defer it, not tonight. We're not going to That is tonight. correct. Um, okay. And I would encourage you to allow us to defer these items until the second meeting in August, and that would be August, um, give me a second. The second meeting of August. Meeting the third Wednesday. The 20th? Mm -hmm. okay. let, me, let me cost you that that's a meeting that we normally cancel. The first meeting. We, we cancel the first. The first, the first one, okay. That's All right. correct. I stand correctly, okay. Is it the 20th? Let me check. The 20th. So items 10 A, B, and C are deferred until the meeting of August 20th, 2014. Okay. Thank you. That leaves us with uh, item J. So item J. Okay. Item J is a resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami adopting proposed amendments by the Charter Review Board to the Charter of the City of West Miami, Florida, adopting, setting, and or establishing valid questions for proposed charter amendments to be presented to the electorate at the election to be held on November 4, 2014, providing for valid title and summary of the chief purpose of the proposed amendments, providing for the city attorney to renumber, re-letter, and relocate articles and sections in order to conform with amendments to the charter, instructing the city clerk to delete repealed sections and or incorporate amendments to the charter, instructing the city clerk to forward the amended charter to the municipal code corporation, Muni code, providing for severability, providing for effective date by mayor and city commission. Thank you. If I may, uh, Mr. Mayor. Yes. Uh, as you recall, uh, during the uh, uh, meeting of the last uh, Charter Review Committee uh, held on yesterday, uh, yesterday, um, I advised the uh, 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 committee that I would be reviewing for typographical errors uh, the uh, amendments that have been approved. I did so, and I found a couple of them. 
So it had been corrected and submitted to you yes. through the uh, clerk of the uh, city. Thank you. Uh, anything else? That's it, sir. Okay. Well, we have a resolution on the table. We need a motion if motion. Uh, we agree. Okay. Who seconds? Second. Okay. Can you call the vote, please? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Suarez, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Rodriguez? Yes. Uh, Commissioner Blanca? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. 5 0. Item passes. Item K. Item 11K. This is a resolution of the mayor and the city commission of the city of West Miami disbanding the Charter Review Board 2014 pursuant to Article 7, Section <coughs> 706 of the city of West Miami Charter providing for effective date by mayor and city commission. Motion. Okay, I, I need just, a second. Well, I just wanted to mention that to the uh, members did a great job. The residents that served. Uh, uh, did a wonderful job. We had a really good team, and uh, it felt uh, really good, felt really cohesive, and, and I think we uh, accomplished what we set out to do. Good call, Vice Mayor. Good call. I second that, Vice Mayor. That's awesome. I was going to say the same thing. Thank you. All right. So we have a motion, motion by and a second. Commissioner Suarez and second, and on the motion, Commissioner Blanca, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Suarez? Yes. Commissioner Rodriguez? Yes. Vice Mayor Blanes? Yes. Mayor Mujina? Yes. 5-0. Item passes. Next item. Next item. Item L. Resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami amending Resolution 2014-27 to include additional IPS credit card installation and shipping in addition to the cap of $10,000 approved by Resolution 2014-27 for a total amount of $17,750.00, authorizing the city manager to piggyback off the City of Hollywood contract agreement with IPS Group Parking and Telecommunications in lieu of the City of West Miami competitive procedure, accepting a competitive bid which has been secured on behalf of the City of Hollywood for the purpose of purchasing parking meters as part of the city's parking meter program and ongoing maintenance to be funded 100% from surtax uh, PTP funds consisting of 20 <coughs> meters providing for enforcement of meters and providing for effective date by mayor and city commission. Mr. Pena. Mr. Mayor, Mr. Commissioners, uh, during the la last resolution that you approved, there was uh, an item missing on the, on the parking meters, which was the credit card portion of it. Uh, that is what is uh, being added to this new resolution, which is uh, $450 per meter per installation, and that totals to $9,000. And also, there is a $150 shipping charge to bring them from uh, California, where they're assembled, over to here. And because the city of Hollywood has a bigger contract with them, uh, their minimum orders are 200 meters at a time. Since we're only ordering 20, they are charging us for the airfare of the actual technician that will be out here to install and set them up. And that's $2,000 more. So, so all total, it's 17500 for all 20 meters. Okay. I have a question. Yes. These meters will be the coin and also the car? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Ms. Aguilar, you were going to say something? Um, I, I was, Mr. Mayor, and only for the benefit of those at home and those that are here this evening. Um, we all we have a, a community that is mixed in, in, in age groups here, and so uh, I feel that the dual uh, coin and credit card system will address those that don't have debit cards or credit cards, uh, primarily some senior citizens in the community that are used to the old coin system and it'll provide obviously that a newer methodology for collection for others who choose that route so thank you that's why it makes it a little bit the investment is a little bit more expensive but i think it's more functional okay i make a motion okay. second can you call the vote please yes <coughs> um on the motion commissioner rodriguez how do you vote yes commissioner suarez yes commissioner blanca yes Vice Mayor Blanes. Yes. Mayor Mujina. Yes. 5 0. Item passes. Next item, item M. This is a request for a proclamation to Antonin Pancho Bonin in recognition of his career as educator. This is uh, by, by, by Vice Mayor Blanes. 
Vice Mayor. I, I do apologize for not uh, obtaining uh, the uh, Mr. Uh, Antonin's uh, uh, bio? Uh, bio, uh, biography, you know, his, uh, his record. Uh, he is a longtime resident here of the city of West Miami. Uh, he turned 89 uh, yeah. not long ago. And uh, this gentleman has uh, uh, taught uh, all his life. Um, he taught uh, mainly in uh, Cuba and, and, and in Spain. And he has taught uh, the who's who of, of today's uh, Miami-Dade County's uh, movers and shakers. Uh, he is uh, very well respected among his students. Uh, his, his students are anywhere from, you know, 65 to 75 years old, and 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 they meet to this day in different places. And uh, of course, uh, uh, Pancho, as they dearly call him, he's always invited, and. Uh, you know he's uh, revered among these people, and um, I hope that I can invite some of them so they can be here to to witness, to to testify, uh, to give uh, credit to this man, and uh, you know his lifelong uh, uh, edu uh, educating uh, ed uh, career as an educator. So you know it. I, th I thought it'd be fitting to 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 recognize him. I I, I know that he well deserves it. Um, and I'm going to try to have, uh, you know, more of, uh, of details of where he taught, and uh, um, you know, so on, so forth. He, he used to be a, a, a Jesuit priest at, uh, when he when he taught, and uh, you know, life took a, a change for him, and and uh, but uh, he's a, he's a great great person. And a great neighbor. And a good neighbor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mayor, I, want I, to I never, I never knew that <laughs> that, that that was his yeah. name. I, I call, everybody knows him by Pancho. He's, so he's yeah, he's I, I, want, call him I went to to back his words because Pancho is a great personality in the education field yeah. here in Miami, especially in the Cuban community and uh, not only Cuban, all the Spanish speakers people here. He has been a great, a great, great professor. Always willing to help people. And yes, yes. All right. So all in favor say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Go to the order. Mr. Mayor, I have one, some ver very quick thing to say. <laughs> very quick. Um, for many years, I sat out there and I listened to the manager's message and I sat through the budget presentation and, you know, I, li I listened. I didn't really, didn't really know what was going on, but now I have to say that when I'm on the other side, and I see all these wheels in motion, it's an amazing thing. And I have to take my hat off to the manager and everyone that's involved in this budget process because it's, it's, it's a lot. It's far more than I ever thought. You think, you know, this is a little city. How, you know, <laughs> what can, how much can it be? But I am, I am amazed amazed at, at the job, the, the great job that everyone does to bring this budget to the table. So my Thank hat's you. off to you, Madam Manager, and, Thank and all you. your support staff. Thank you. Mm. Well, whatever. I, 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 <laughs> I commend everyone. I'm just, I, I, I'm blown away when I see in all the wheels of motion and, and what it takes to do this. So I, I commend Thank you. you. Thank you. And, and if I may, Mr. Mayor, and I know this is the good of the order, and I, uh, obviously I don't know whether this is in keeping with protocol, your department directors and the finance director are the driving force here. Uh, they set the tone for what comes to you by way of the booklet presentation. But also I have to uh, thank you for taking the time that you've taken individually to meet with me to go over the, the budget, to go through the projections, but most of all, for standing behind what we are proposing because it is uh, encouragement coming from our elected leaders and it gives us uh, what we need and it re-energizes the department directors to work together for a better West Miami, no question about it. So I thank you for your kind words and uh, we will continue to do the best job that we can 
produced for the city. Thank you. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I want to add something, Commissioner Rodriguez. Absolutely. And because it's amazing thing because they do very well. Uh -huh. They do, you know, detail by detail, no. detail by detail. Look at Mrs. No. Leon, she lost 10 pounds. No. <laughs> no. In the last no. week. <laughs> See, because she's like this, you know, <laughs> nailing yeah. there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> See, and Miraya, and the also she lost some pounds. And also the manager to lost some pounds. Because they're still working <laughs> very hard. Mr. Mayor, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, yeah. Mr. Mayor commissioners. Yes. Uh, you don't. Wait, wait, when you go to uh, Staples to buy uh, whatever, uh, and there's a little button there that you uh, punch in that says, oh, it's easy. Not easy. Not, no. not easy. It's a very taxing <laughs> job, and I think, I mean, I see those people working, and as you were saying, it, it's just an amazing uh, thing. And uh, we have to look to the future, because uh, this is not an easy, an easy job. I mean, the, you, you cannot learn that uh, just by the uh, flick of a hand. So uh, it's, <coughs> and of course, uh, I noticed when you were uh, listening uh, how much attention you pay, and uh, this is, uh, a tremendous task for you to absorb everything that uh, she always did have Let taken yeah. weeks okay thank you okay. yeah because uh you know when when uh, i'm sorry vice mayor you were next go ahead <coughs> well to finish off uh the good of the order i, I just want to say madam commissioner that i am glad and thankful that you're sitting on this side <laughs> 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 that, you, I, as a matter of fact i'm not going to speak <laughs> because that, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. Motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Good night. Good night. You're right on point. It's just